Speed Cross 4 by Solomon. It's a solid shoe. It's really good. I highly recommend this, but I'm going to give you a review first on its good parts and its bad parts and why you should or should not get the shoe. So first of all, it has a drawstring instead of uh, laces, which I think is pretty convenient, but you don't necessarily get the, like the snugness of just tying your shoe. But it's as far as convenience goes, I really like that. The uh, the bottom part is like the as you can see, they're like claws basically, and these this is actually really good for being in dirt. So that's what I wanted to talk about is it's the difference between taking it into a dirt trail and taking it into water. So if you like hiking around rivers and walking through rivers and you want like a good waterproof shoe, this is good and it's bad. So I went out into the forest. I live in Washington, so I have a lot of trails to choose from. So I went out to a few different trails. When I was in dirt or just on dry rocks, it was amazing. It was actually really super grippy and you're, it's just, I don't know, it feels really good on your foot and you have really good arch support, which I like. Like a lot of people say that it's a little too narrow. I'm okay with that. Um, it's, it's not like I got, like I didn't chafe or anything on my feet. On dirt, on dry rocks, it's awesome. It sticks like a claw. But once you get it wet, like when you're walking through water with, with these, you'll slip on the rocks. Like if they're slick rocks, you'll slip pretty, it's pretty, it's guaranteed that you're gonna slip. And if the rock itself is wet, like it doesn't do well on just a, a, a slick, wet surface. It's not a non-slip shoe at all. But if you get it wet, and then walk on something dry, it'll still it'll still grab pretty hard. I had to cross over the river, so I walked across this log, and I, I was fresh out of the water. I had just jumped out of the out of the stream onto this log, and it had no problem. I had no problem like actually feeling safe on it. Um, but as you can see, as I'm walking through the water, like my steps look a little uneven, and that's because these this tread right here is actually it's just like flat pieces of rubber so it's slipping and that's the only thing touching and it's slipping on the on the rocks so i didn't like that about it in any dry environment it was solid um and one thing i don't one other thing i don't like about it is that if my foot landed on a rock or i like it lands like this you know because i mean you're putting your feet in a lot of precarious situations like it will poke right through that it's act, it's really thin um, so it doesn't give you really any protection there. It gives you good protection here on the front, um, which is like hard, pl not hard plastic, but it's like, uh, you know, flexible plastic stuff. It's waterproof, but it breathes really easily. So when you do walk around in it, after you get it wet, it'll dry pretty fast. And even when it's dry, it just breathes really well. Your foot won't just turn into a, you know, a bowl of soup and just be super wet. The, the heel strike is actually pretty nice. Um, just you feel really solid on it it's pretty cool and they're really light feel really good and uh, I'm a fan so I like these for dry stuff when they get wet not my, not uh, my best friend um, but there Solomon does make some pretty good uh, shoes for for being in the water so anyway if you like this review go ahead and give it a like oh but the the I'm putting a link to uh, Amazon where I got these. Actually, I got these off Camp Saver, but I'm putting an Amazon link down below that you can go down and uh, check it out and get some for yourself. A Speed Cross 4, not 3, not 2, not 1, 4, Quattro. Uh, yeah, check it out. See you later.